Alright, so everything's done on the car. Uh, thank you everybody that come out and helped me and got this done so quick. But, did the clutch, the carrier bearing, the Weebo, the rear lower control arms, the coilovers, and the reinforcement plates. The passenger side um, knuckle ended up snapping the bolt off, so that had to get drilled out. But everything else went smooth. It's all back in and up. Exhaust is back on. It's not leaking as bad. Um, I definitely should have ordered more flanges, but I only ordered the two because I thought I was going to be able to use the stock ones. And that wasn't going to happen because the other one that wasn't broken off was seized together. So I'll have to order some more, but I'm not even going to worry about that until I do the headers because it's not overtly obnoxious now. So now I'm on my way to get an alignment. You'll be able to see how it looks with the coils, even though these wheels are ass. What's going on? Picked up some wheels yesterday with Sean in Ohio. Uh, I didn't film any of it because it's just fucking Ohio. Who cares? Um, went to Hooters for the first time in my adult life. Ass, bro, it sucks. Are you going to have a fucking restaurant based around chicken and titties and all the girls are flat and all your flats are fucking garbage? Anyways, um, I'm going to put these on those that are on retail, the ones you can't see. They're style 74s. I think they're supposed to be out for X5. Trobel told me they're a European only thing. Now they're stupid cheap. All for 18 by 8 and a half. Unfortunately, they're painted purple, but we'll just fucking repaint them. So, get these together and at least get the fronts on because uh, I ordered tie rods and trailing arm bushings and all the bushings that go on the knuckle. They were supposed to show up Friday. They didn't show up. And they're like, oh, they'll show up on Saturday. They didn't show up. And now it's Sunday. They're not going to show up. And then we got an email like, oh, if they don't show up tomorrow, you'll get a refund. So we just fucking canceled it. Because, like, why? why? So, get these tires on. Okay, we got the wheels and tires on. But I didn't do the rear because we don't have the parts to fix the rear alignment yet. That's what they look like, but they're fucking suck. So, we're going to do something to fix that. I got the E36 out of the garage. This thing with the charged battery starts right up every fucking go. I think I got to replace this guy down here, though. The cable. And it won't stop leaking power steering fluid. But look how pretty it is in the daylight, dude. Um, so, I'm going to be putting E36 control arms on my E46, but we're going to extend them. Also, table now that's been sitting outside. It's all warped. It's been sitting outside. I don't give a shit. Now I can sit here and do this shit. Boop. So these are going to get extended. I'm going to cut them right there. Cut a chunk out of this. Boop. Weld it in. Make sure it's straight. Make sure they're even. And then these will eventually go on the 46 when the rest of my parts show up. But I'm going to make these for right Sit now. down. That's what we're looking like. So original measurement from center ball joint to center ball joint is 13 inches. E46 are 14 inches. So this one, well, both of them, are 15 and a half inches. So they're gonna be an inch past stock 46 arms. Uh, they're twisted the right way. Got this straight line, straight line. Don't worry about the overlap because that doesn't fucking matter. It's just filler metal. So I'm gonna fucking put these hoes together like weld them all out and shit and then uh paint them and these will sit here until i get the rest of my parts but this thing just chilling staring at me watching me work on not parts for it pissed off so i'm gonna get back into this show you when it's welded all right so i fucked up not on these these are good and if you're gonna look at them and be like those aren't the same length the casting's different ball joint to ball joints 15 and a half inches suck my dick anyways I did this twice. I ordered two fucking sets of these on accident. Both sets are E46, right? If I'm extending those, how the fuck am I gonna run stock tie rods? So, I have a welder and no money. I'm just gonna cut them, extend them both like an inch. And then it should be good, because I don't have any other E90 tie rods. So. I'm gonna try to make them straight as best I can. If I got a piece of angle iron, I'm gonna use that as a guide. Perfect. Boop. Angle iron. 
cut these boys, extend these boys. And those will get painted too. Those will get painted. And then this can all sit until my other shit shows up. All right, it's much later. Uh, I went and helped Sean with his car. Didn't film any of it because it's his car. But um, got these done and painted. Y'all saw that. And I ended up extending these tie rods. Got a little sleeve on there made out of a random pipe that I had. But uh, the insert is Transbolt. Some random Transbolt. So those are good. That's good. Now I'm just waiting on trailing arm bushings. And I also found out um, there is a part number that you can get uh, for, I think, a Camry. But they're sealed monoball OEM trailing arms for like $23 a piece that fit into E36 and E46. So I'm kind of pissed that I didn't order those and I ordered OEM ones. But I mean, I'm going to put the OEM ones in for now and then I got to redrill. I'm going to try to drill out a little bit for like a tow correction because I can't afford the $150 toe correcting mounts whatever but either way um that shit's done so I'm just waiting on parts not doing shit to this thing i realize i'm stupid because i'm like oh my radio doesn't work there's no speakers in the car all the speakers are in this fucking box right here so i haven't put them in so maybe i'll do that next or you'll see when i get the other parts in all right we got the arms on these are the ones that were on it Somebody cut them for some reason or another. The front end fits a bit better. But now I realized after I did the trailing arm bushings, this wheel bearing is fucked. Should have known that. One weird thing though, just trying to figure out what size it was. I'm pretty sure it's a 30. I got a 32 or no, this is 30, whatever. Put it on there and it just came off by hand. So that's fun. But I got a whole new hub and wheel bearing, so I got to pull this off, pull the axle, take the disc off, pull that shit out. Got the tool. Kevin went to the store, but we're going to get back in doing this shit, and then I can finally go align it. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. So let's get all this shit off. Then... Been over here helping Sean. He's filming his shit. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Dude, Shark Gang? Yo, is it my favorite YouTuber? Yo, like, sideways sideways YouTube, dude, sign my... Never mind. Oh. <laughs> and then, uh, this is what we're doing. Yeah, we're doing a highlighter color because we yep. like boys. Highlighter pink. This is sparkle in that bitch. This is what I've been doing instead of working on my own cars. My video I'm about to post is going to be jumbled as hell. I know if it makes sense. This going to be alright. <laughs> Parker, I give you a dollar. You lick the center of this wheel well right now. Bro, you use a dollar. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's already almost taken apart. It's ugly fucks over at Sean's now, so we can put that motor in. Trent's pissing. You know it's a felony. What's that? Grown man touch a little boy's winger. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be disassembled here. It's going in his car. Maybe gay together. Yeah, why do you got green cool on your BMW? Because I'm poor. <laughs> it's supposed to be in point five. This is going to come out. This is going to go on a stand. Find the bolts. This is being held up by just sitting on that and Sean, sitting on the cross member. Dude, Try to fucking record, dude. I'll beat the fuck out of both of you right now. Do it. Really? Did you hear me? Hold my shit. Yeah, Hold my shit. Promise? Look, he's scared. He's running yeah, away. Running, running away. away. Hey, running away. Sean's running, running away. Yeah, so Sean's a bitch. All right. Anybody who ever say, hey, Chief, keep me about this, Chief, keep me about that. Chief, keep me about that. Parker said I have to film like this. That's why I film and like you, that. You literally have, like, an extendo. Yeah, a so selfie stick fine. for an arm. <laughs> so I have, I, to do I, every, like... I have to show everything like this. Yes, you should. Mm, you should. Or you should go, like, from down here. You know, like, the 45-year-old dad on Facebook angle? <laughs> yeah, so today we're working on a Beamer. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the flashlight comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Parker can't hold a fucking flashlight to save his life. Uh, it's not. Here, please, dang. Oh, sick, oh, okay. My God. Out. Good. Yep. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. 
<laughs> Pull this fucking trans off. Get the other trans on. Get it set in his car. Good. <clears throat> okay, so that has probably been a long video. Got a whole bunch of stuff done. Didn't really film a lot because I'm trying to do it quick. Um, but end it here. Thanks for watching everything. Um, I'm going to try to film more when we're putting everything back together. Uh, I got to tear the other motor down and clean it and paint it and do all the stuff, regasket it, whatever. We're going to clean up a little bit of the stuff on the motor that came out of my car to put it in the Sean's. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to try to film more with me in it. Parker is talking shit in another video. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Okay, love you. Bye.